on Rescue TV with the beautiful Nicole Warren. Um, congratulations on Thank you, you know uh, being signed up to IMG and mm -hmm. as not just um, a model but as as really a brand. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, you know, it's a very new arena for IMG. I was actually technically the first to sign to the talent division. Yeah. So it's great. We really work together, and you know, we share the same vision of working long term. So you're a 24 year old trail trailblazer in, <laughs> in this digital world, which kind of makes you really, you know, old enough to know what you're doing mm -hmm. in the digital world. Um, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, your fashion pedigree from Gary Pepper Vintage mm -hmm. to your collaboration with Westfield. Um, okay, so I started Gary Pepper Vintage in 2009, it's about October, um, so it's still relatively new I guess and I started with an online store and I opened my blog on the same day and for the first two years I did my store full time, so um, you know the interaction with my readers was always really high um, and I learned a lot about them and then they, you know, with, through my blog they kind of became friends and it's only recently that I decided to do it full time and I had shot actually with Westfield a few months ago um, for a, a vintage ex exhibition they had done so it was very aligned and then we just got along so well and you know we share the same I guess perspective on spring summer fashion and it just was this like natural um, you know evolution I guess so it was very exciting and now we're here today um, and we launched the fashion film last night. So you launched it and Al Weeks was the director yes, and you worked Al. with it and who's an amazing friend yep. and talent and the Stenmark boys who are an amazing talent of nature. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit unfair, but yes. <laughs> so um, and it's fun and it's sexy and mm -hmm. um, tell me, you, you collaborated with them too on the ideas, so tell, tell me a little bit about not just being the talent but what you brought to the shoot. So with the fashion film, so it's called Hashtag Limousine 13, um, you know, we wanted to do something a little bit different. You know, I think being online all the time, it can be, be a little bit predictable. So um, they really wanted to go for the shock value. And so you probably see that the hair and the makeup is very, very different to what I usually yeah. wear. Um, and they really, they were so wonderful. They gave me a lot of creative freedom with um, even the styling, like Kelly Hume styled it, but I got to oversee everything as well, which was wonderful. And so. I mean, that's I guess that's the talent that they brought you on board for. You're not just a mannequin that people project an image on. You are part of the art installation. You are part yeah. of the conversation. Well, that, I mean, that's the thing about bloggers is you're not just you know a model or you know some a writer. You you're a brand, yeah. and so you really got to protect that. So the Westfield were lovely. They just said, you know, do you like this? What colours do you wear? And you know, we kind of really aligned I guess. But you really pushed it and I think that that was fun too to see you looking so very different to what yeah. you normally look. So <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to watch to be honest but um, yeah I mean like I said it's just it's such a different deeper. look. It's a bit, it's a bit sexy. Yeah it's um, very sexy. Yeah so it was nice it was you know the first time I'd actually done anything like that and like we said Al directed it and he he's very good it made me feel really comfortable and um, so I actually only took a few takes of each scene. Oh my God, she's a pro. It's her first movie and she's a ah, pro. It's not, it's not a movie. <laughs> it's a short movie. A short but, um, you know, and the Stanmark twins, they're lovely to work with. So now they're kind of like brothers. Like we just kind of goof around in between takes. And what a waste to make them brothers. Hey, you're still... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Zach's been with his girlfriend I think, for like seven years now. So. so your boyfriend is really part of, uh, a huge part of your success mm -hmm. on, uh, on Instagram, your social media, your blog. He's been photographing you all these years. Mm -hmm. as well. Um, how do you guys work together? Because that there's an uncommon thing to be able to do successfully, work with your partner. I know. I mean, my advice to a lot of bloggers is I would never mix them <laughs> um, unless you're really compatible because it's like traveling with someone. You really test each other and, you know, Luke is very creative. Um, he's a photographer and a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. So we do challenge each other on the, you know, the different perspectives. Um, but it keeps it really interesting and, you know, it's I think from the very beginning it was one of the best things um, that I didn't appreciate I guess. Now I'm really aware of you know how much Luke has done for my blog and you know the level of photography that's been consistent. Yeah, it's it's really come down to It's such to a him. pleasure to watch. I was um, 
was reading in something, I think it was Vanity Fair, somebody was saying that uh, it was a design interview and she mm-hmm. was saying that she doesn't read blogs anymore, she just goes to Instagram. And I think, yeah. you know, a picture that can speak a thousand words is such an art form. It is, yeah. And um, Instagram itself, I mean, I'm completely addicted to it. And I think if you use it the right way, it's not just, you know, a way to share photos. It's, you know, you can use it really... Um, perfectly for brand awareness it's it's like free marketing and advertising and you know i think it's a really good social media platform so as a style commentator and as a trendsetter Mm -hmm. um can you tell us what are some of the things that are going to be sneaking into your wardrobe this spring summer oh that's i always struggle to answer this question because every season i kind of stick to the same things like i love bright. well i love bright colors Mm -hmm. i love really clean lines like white on white um you know, I think as I've grown up, I've become a little bit more streamlined, so I try to invest in like classic, you know, versatile pieces. Your look has evolved though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you're obviously, yeah, it's, you know, it's hard though, because your readers see you one way and then like, oh, you've changed. But you know, you put yourself online, I think people forget that you were growing up as well. So yeah, I've definitely changed a lot since I first started blogging. Definitely my style as well. But I mean, we shot some great pieces. We shot a lot of Sass and Bide, um, the embellishment, I think, is definitely coming in, and a lot of colour actually. So, so you'll be right at home. Exactly. You'll be Easy. absolutely fabulous yeah. at home. <laughs> now, as a uh, as someone who's just really um, embraced the new uh, digital medium, but in a in quite an effortless way, and I think that that's kind of been your oh, success. You. That it it never feels forced. Um, you're in the photo, but you're not. It's not all about me, me, me. And I think that that's something people really love mm-hmm. when they they follow you um what would be your advice to people and you know you were saying that a blogger is you are the brand yeah. how do you as as somebody who you know wants to be in social media and wants to have a voice mm-hmm. how do you protect your kind of brand integrity in this really changing times of it's very fast paced isn't it um and the rules of endorsements and engagements and i know i know it's it's a it's it is tricky and i've learnt you know, over a long period of time. And, you know, it's such a new um, space that we're getting into. There really are no rules. Mm -hmm. We're kind of writing them now. Um, But, you know, I think if someone said to me a few years ago, like, I would have really taken on this advice. um, I always think long term. I mean, it's really simple, but, you know, it's it's kind of like building a portfolio, building a CV, um, and the only downfall is it's online. So it's like a public record. You can't take it down. It's out there for the world to see. Yeah. So, I mean, luckily I have always worked with brands that I really, really love. Um, and now, as everything's got a lot crazy, I'm really grateful that that was just something that I, I definitely thought about. But, but I think even, the, you know, the fact that there doesn't seem to be anything kind of like crazy and tasteless and brash and crass about you know you that's out there you it's it's well, not it, online <laughs> <right>? <laughs> that's it, in my personal it, facebook it feels like you know you've you've really had this like very clear brand vision for yourself even yes. before you were a brand that well i think it's because i started with an online store so i was a business and yeah. you know a lot of bloggers start as bloggers and then they become you know a, a business or you know, a model or a stylist, and I was completely opposite. So I started as a, a, a business, and then I became a, a full-time year old. blogger. Yeah, so uh-huh. it was, um, you know, it was I was at that point where I was like, I've got nothing to lose. I may as well give it a go. And I guess when I had, um, I guess the fear of failure kind of really drives me. Um, yeah, and it kind of, it, yeah, it was very new at the time as well. So um, I definitely think it helps always keeping in mind, I guess, treating yourself like a business. And what's next for you? I leave for New York on Friday. Wow, are you coming so, to the shows? Um, I am. So I'm here. We have an event with Westfield for Vogue Fashion Night yeah. out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And then I'm on a plane the next morning. And then I'll be coming back. I'm only there for three weeks and then I'll come back again for Westfield. So Fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a pleasure always keeping up with you and your beautiful interpretations of the world. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Lovely to see you. Thank you. <laughs>